What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and right now, I am going to bless you with the best strategy in the world right now. It is the best bling bling Lemonman strategy, the terror Lemonman strategy, the terror power strategy. Oh my god, it's the best strategy I've ever encountered, I've ever used, I've ever seen in my life. So here it goes guys, I'm going to show you guys without further ado what I'm talking about. Right there, best thing you can do right here as a very beginning is throw up the coins. If you don't throw up the coins, this strategy is not going to work. It has to be coins, coins, coins all day. Monster, ooh, Eliza man, you have to get up on your game. Monster is not going to happen here. Hearts, never. Never hearts. Monster, not as bad. Hearts, never hearts always pop the coins guys right there look at that pro popping coins all day long that's how you do it you do not pop hearts here all right oh another not good thing right there cheers going out cheers going out Sephiroth uses his his uh, charisma also using cheers boom he gets hit with some damage right there meteor going out on Coco there goes out the uh, HB oh there's another oh heart that's a no-no right there heart is not good right there Heels, cheers up all the way up. Cheers going out. This is what you guys gotta do. Make sure your cheers go out. Make sure those HPs goes up. Damage goes out on Sephiroth. You can heal him right now. That would be good. Cures going out. Perfect cure right there. All right. Charisma going out. Meteor strikes going out. Cheers going out. Look at this, guys. We're doing. We're firing on all cylinders right now. Healing going up. Eliza dies. Why does she die? She put up the hearts. What can I say? There's no other reason why she died. No. Oh, that's really good. That's a really good uh, right, right there. Really, really, really good unison right there, guys. It has to be like that. If you're getting damage, you put up the keymin, right? Always with the keymin. Keymin yellow. Keymin yellow. Remember that. Anything yellow is good. Keymin especially yellow. Oh man, super good. And then here comes the damage. Recover goes out on Zeph. Oh, we are going so good right now. Putting the cheers up. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes, guys. I am getting fired up right now. It's about to be it's about to be terror time. Terror time. Bling bling time. Here it goes. Here we go, guys. Putting those heels up. Putting those heels up. Always got to put those heels up. Putting those cheers out. Got to get those cheers out. X X X. That is important right now. You have to know that when you see the X, that is right about to be X factor. X factor terror time super bling bling time look at this guys Ooh, right here I swap in Sev MVP right now this is what you guys want to do you guys want to swap in CPUs for the crystal phase every single time you know why because right there boom number one that right there Sev right there you see that attack right there that is what caused this to be the most epicest match ever because if you have a CPU in there most likely they'll be doing a regular attack most likely it will be only doing one damage that is why when you see that one that's a singularity you see that one it's a team of one basically the whole team is now one into each other it's the same person and they're all playing at the same time their brains are linked now because it's, it has the one there oh that was MVP status right there Sev that's why he's done his job he's done it now we can put us back in Eliza's in Oh, Eliza, make sure you don't put up those hearts because if you do again, you might die. All right, Ether Exchange going out. Definitely put that area heal up. Here comes, guys. Here comes. This is the moment of truth. The terror is about to set in right now on the other side. It's about to be crazy. It's about to be crazy. Here it goes, guys. Here it goes. Here it goes. We are about to set it off right now with this terror limit strat. The bling bling lemon strat boom here it is guys the ultimate moment here it is boom oh my god this is the best however we have somebody who put up a Nemean Nemean oh my god so bad the only time you ever put up a Nemean is if you're in a run with Lancers all Lancers and you better have a lot of attack because whoa that is going to be really good if you have a Lancers there. Uh, definitely don't ever use it with mages. It's the worst ever 
possible unison for mages. Oh, especially if you have five mages. <sighs> the worst. So basically, you definitely want to have these limitments here. The def defining factor in here is one of them has a crown. If they don't have a crown, why do you even put him up? I mean, geez, this one has a crown. The other one does. It's like having a, like one of those wallets that has a, a Velcro, and then somebody pulls out a Louis V wallet on you. <sighs> You're gonna look bad. All right, this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is exactly what we wanted. We lose the unison. This is perfect because when they put up this crit, doesn't even matter. Look at all that um, negative magic damage I'm putting in there. Oh. The magic damage on those lancers, oh, it's like zero right now. Whew. Once I get all that magic, negative magic on those lancers, they're going to do no magic damage. <sighs> right? Oh, man. Once the, oh, my God. The, these lancers are going nowhere with magic damage. Whew. Look at that, guys. Look, they didn't even want to attack the lancer on the bottom. He doesn't even want to attack. He uses his night blades, but psh, no magic damage. Whoa. So there it is guys, look at that strategy, so good, it's a so good, look at that guys, oh my god, Ooh, here it is, here it is guys, here it is again, I was I was thinking about it, and look, huh, the man and a, a bling liman, the terror liman, putting the terror back in their minds, that didn't even cause a genesis, I don't even know why, whoa, that was crazy good, alright here it goes guys, we got to put that back in. I mistakenly put in Sen instead of Sev. I got a little bit confused. I should have put in Sev because he is the MVP CPU number one. Basically, best MVP in this game right now is Sev. He has to be. It's just no-brainer. So check it out, guys. Here we go. Basically, what you want to do at this time is do a lot of healing. And you, I don't know why we're doing so much damage right now. We just don't need to be doing that right now definitely want to get as much healing done as possible and if you can put up your like defensive buffs or guard that is what you want to do because you definitely don't want to take any damage from that crystal definitely don't want to take any damage from the crystal all right so here you go here comes the super awesome number two style damage oh look it's Sora he has his unison uses his unison. I don't agree with the Amateuretsu there guys. It's pretty much a useless um, unison but thankfully we put up the bling limimins and we lose the unison which we definitely wanted to do right here. You definitely don't want to, to win any of these unison battles. It's probably the worst thing you could possibly do in the game is because I mean it's called a unison league right so that's why. Alright so yeah so yeah, they, they all perfectly just get defeated right there. That's exactly what we needed to happen. And the Limimin went on to them. So tch, Lancers don't even do damage for magic. They're not going to do too much magic. Look at that guy on the bottom right there. He has negative two magic damage right here. You wa definitely want to do as much damage as possible on our side. If you, if you have all like mages in here right now, whoo, that would be crazy because you get to do so much burst AoE damage at this point. Uh, I don't know why we're healing and stuff and getting like Gilbon out. I probably should have just been just spamming guard as much as I possibly can. And then um, like maybe I can get like a cost reset or something and then hopefully like A team will implement. I could just put all guards in there. That would be amazing. All right. So we got we getting our our bonds up, bonds up, bonds up. And uh Looks like we're going to be able to exclamation point here, as you can see. So, here we go. Putting I put up the cheers, and look, guys. Tear Liverman strategies. Tear power. It's invading their brains right now. Oh my god, what had happened there? Why are they putting this jack up? Who did that? I don't even know why you would even use that monster. You have to use... Bling bling limitment all the way. Five of them. I don't know why. We need to work on our teamwork sometimes, guys. I feel like we just don't have it sometimes. It's like, I mean, I just joined the guild, and all I can do is think about why did Sen use that that firejack? I mean, obviously we want to put as much 
of the ma magic negative magic damage on the Lancers as possible, right? I mean, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Alright. So that being said, we're doing all of our good damage damage and getting a good amount of heals off. Right now, you don't want to kill as too many people because then you will go to crystal phase. And why would you want that? I mean, psh, right? So, we're just doing a good amount of barriers, healing up. Accidentally, sometimes people use like, damage skills. I don't know why, but sometimes we mess up. Okay, so at this point, guys, definitely what you want to do. The best thing you can do at this point, like I said before, is use right here, guard. Guard, guard, guard. Because if you don't guard, then how are you going to get negative 50% damage? The crystal is going to do damage if you... If you do if you do a, a guard, it's fifty percent of that damage is negated. <sighs> what? I know, right? I wish I could just have all guards and then just keep spamming guard one after the other. I don't know why they don't let me do that. I was putting the guard in there, and for some reason, it just wouldn't let me put more than one. Okay, so that was the strategy, guys. <sighs> I know it's mind blowing. The best strategy you've ever seen in your life. I know because I was part of it and we were melding our strategies together uh, throughout a, a, about a year a period we were just kind of like telling each other like what we should do you know putting our strategies out obviously it wasn't implemented perfectly I know you guys can do it better than I have but oh my god right there guys look at that look at the stats what I know right 92k 92k 92130 that sounds like a zip code that's really good so oh wow that was really good because look at that it's so clean it only has three monsters you don't even need more or four monsters you don't even need more than that look at this I just wanted to equip equip it this is the meta meta right now that's why I named it the meta meta it's like the best the best best oh Look at that monster, guys. Look at it. It's 99 cost. Basically, you don't even need any of those slots, extra two slots, because 99 cost is going to cover the whole thing. It's going to cover it, the those slots. If I had more of these things, oh, oh my god, I would be so OP right now. It would be like 99, 99, 99, 99, right? I mean, I, I probably should just even take out some of my weapon. Oh my. Dude. I could just take out some of my weapon costs and then put it into monsters and then I could have all of the limitments in there. That would be amazing. That's what we'll do. Okay, so basically, I just wanted to show you guys look how pro this is right now. You don't even have to up the, the monster because it's already max level. So basically, you don't even need any EXP lumens. You don't even have to max. It's already maxed. And then if you wanted to plus it, you don't even, you can't even do it because you don't even need to plus it. It's so good that it doesn't even, you can't even possibly get any pluses on this monster. And the skill stays at level, the highest level. I mean, what else is there to say, right? I mean, it's the best. Okay. So uh, you definitely want to review the video at least 57,000 times because there's no possible way you can just get it in one go. I mean, I've done this strategy at least 57,000 times. So, whew, yeah, guys, uh, I, I, I know a lot of my guildmates wanted me to keep my mouth closed about this strategy because it's like this is what we're going to be using in the next in the next when the the levels go up for the crystal and stuff but I just had to share it with you guys I I know like it's really important for us to like build a team together as a community and just make sure that we kind of share you know the best strategies because if you don't then what's the point all right so yeah guys I just wanted to share that with you uh, hopefully you learn a lot guys because I know I learned a lot from this strategy. I know I really took a lot of time and effort into this. So definitely tell me what you guys thought about the strategy. And um, if you think you could beat it. But I don't think it's pretty much impossible. So 
Definitely go ahead and tell me what you guys thought in the comments below. If you liked the video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you disliked the video, give me a thumbs down. Also, tell me what you guys thought um, the next video should be, as well as uh, what um, the next video should be. Okay, so um, go ahead and uh, do that, and then subscribe if you can. Uh, I think that's it for this one, dudes. Um, as always... Thank you guys for watching, and take it easy. Peace.